Ok. Good afternoon, greeting to all. Buenas tardes. Bienvenidos sean todos. My name is Yuvelkis Montalvo. I'm the Health Executive Director and I am pleased to lead this info session about the Heads Academy. We are delighted to have more than 150 registration from 24 higher education institutions in Puerto Rico and also 11 member institutions in the US. Welcome all, bienvenidos. Uh, today we are pleased to announce a fourth edition of the Heads Academy. During the initial editions, we have a group of so far, we have a group of 64 candidates that were selected through a very competitive application process. And those candidates participate during four intensive days of synchronous presentations designed to provide the competencies to prepare professionals to advance technologically and reach initiatives to support and transport their institutions. Today, in this info session, we will have two of them uh, that will be sharing uh, their experiences. But let me tell you that this info session agenda will, during this uh, uh, info session, we, the agenda will be the following. First, I will share a brief presentation, a PowerPoint presentation. And as you may see, it's gonna be in English and Spanish. Second, uh, we have two Heads Academy who graduate from the last edition that will share their presentation uh, that, uh, on the edition that they participate back in June 2023. And third, we will open uh, your mics and your video. You will have the, the opportunity to open your mic and your video to, uh, to uh, clarify any doubts and ask questions in the Q&A session that we have at the end of the session. But let's start with the presentation, así que comencemos. Uh, first of all, the Heads Learning Technology Leadership Academy, that are the proper name of the Heads Academy, is a professional development program focused on developing the next generation of leaders to serve at the Hispanic Servants Institution to promote and facilitate the adoption of teaching and learning technologies with a special emphasis on the challenges and opportunities present at Hispanic Serving Institutions. La Academia es un pro de HEDS es un programa en línea enfocado a adiestrar a la próxima generación de líderes en instituciones de educación superior que sirven a hispanos promoviendo y facilitando la adopción de tecnologías de enseñanza y aprendizaje y esta academia tiene un enfoque muy especial en los retos y oportunidades existentes en las instituciones que sirven a hispanos. Durante la academia, los participantes tendrán la oportunidad de participar de presentaciones sincrónicas coordinadas por líderes reconocidos de la comunidad de educación superior. También tendrán la oportunidad de establecer contactos con compañeros que promuevan y faciliten la adopción de tecnologías de enseñanza y aprendizaje y, por supuesto, con la facultad de la academia y también desarrollar proyectos e iniciativas en sus instituciones con oportunidades de presentarlos en nuestro Best Practices Showcase. Eh, la, uh, the acceptance of the Heads uh, Academy is made through a competitive application process. The evaluation committee members, that you may see the pictures on the slides, are composed of senior staff of Heads member institutions selected by the Heads Board of Directors Executive Committee based on their expertise to validate their peers' applications for the Heads Academy. Through this application process, the evaluation committee seeks to select the most competitive applications with compelling evidence that the candidate meets all the requirements to take full advantage of the academy. Also, they seek to create a participants group with a diverse experience, backgrounds, and perspective. The evaluation committee members are the following, Dr. Marisa Ortiz, she's from the Inter-American University of Puerto Rico. I'm not sure if she was able to join us today. She, she told me that she will, so if she's here, thank you. Also, Hector Suero, 
Uh, he's from Albizu University, San Juan campus. Also, we have Dr. Javier Turner from California State University, San Bernardino. We also have Chelsea Cali. She's uh, from Southeast Missouri State University. And finally, we have Dr. Sumaya Villanueva. She's from John Jay College of Criminal Justice. As you may see, we have a representation of all the regions of heads, member institutions. And we have uh, all, almost all of them are fully bilingual, so they can be able to evaluate the applications that can be uh, submitted either in English or Spanish. So feel free to submit your application in any language that you may prefer. Also, uh, some, uh, as I mentioned, some of the evaluation uh, members are here with us today. We would like to thank the evaluation committee members for their commitment and valuable collaboration since this is a volunteer effort that they do and we really appreciate their support. Eh, de, el proceso para aplicar es el siguiente, voy a, a, para hacerlo fully bilingual y para no tomar mucho tiempo voy a hacer un slide en inglés y uno en español, pero los que no entiendan mucho el español no hay problema porque tienen la información en inglés. Eh, el proceso de aplicar ya está abierto, pueden entrar y tiene cinco, eh, perdóname, seis partes muy importantes que tiene que completar en su totalidad. La primera parte es información personal y datos demográficos. La segunda parte pregunta sobre su educación, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Cuáles son los grados académicos que han obtenido? La tercera parte es más bien enfocada en su experiencia. Eh, la cuarta parte eh, pide referencias profesionales y aquí es muy importante que además de dos referencias que se necesitan, que puede ser de sus colegas, se necesita una carta ya sea del presidente, del rector o del supervisor eh, o director de su departamento, la persona ¿verdad? que lo, lo supervisa, eh, recomendando y, e indicando que usted tiene las cualificaciones para solicitar. Si al momento de someter eh, la aplicación no tiene la carta lista, puede someter evidencia de que ya la solicitó y no hay problema, ¿verdad? Y podemos esperar por la carta. Lo mismo pasa con la iniciativa y el mentor. Aquí lo que necesitamos es más bien un documento sencillo que describa el proyecto que usted consideraría en un futuro, luego de terminar ¿verdad? la academia, eh, implementar en su campus con la experiencia que va a adquirir en la academia y qué mentor ¿verdad? Usted recomienda que sería la persona apropiada y le hacer acercamiento ¿verdad? para que el mentor sepa eh, eh, que le pueda ayudar a implementar este proyecto. Eh, ahí lo que se necesita, además de la carta, eh, ¿verdad? describiendo el proyecto, es la carta del mentor indicando que está disponible y el nombre y la información del mentor. Si de casualidad el mentor eh, no le ha podido contestar en, de aquí al 28 de febrero, que es la fecha límite, puede someter evidencia de que está en proceso. Y por último, eh, la última parte son tres preguntas que declaran su intención al participar de la academia y aquí le pedimos que sean respuestas de 300 palabras o menos para cada pregunta. Eh, eh, lastly, the deadline to apply is February 28, and you may see if you have any doubt in the application process, please eh, let us know. You can contact the head's eh, office either by email or calling us at the office. Seguimos con el currículo de la academia, el cual fue diseñado, ¿verdad? Y aprobado por la Junta de Directores de HEADS, y este tiene ocho temas en particular. Estos temas son tecnología académica, enseñanza y aprendizaje, diseño instruccional o curricular, aprendizaje en línea, datos para el aprendizaje di digital, desarrollo profesional, gerencia de proyectos, y por último, administración y calidad. Eh, ahí van en las traducciones en inglés y muy importante es que eh, the academy conveys leaders in higher education community from various areas of expertise, various areas of expertise, and the heads academy offers eh, all eight different topics, as I mentioned before, and the faculty of the academia are the following. Remember that we offer two different editions of the academia, the Spanish track and the English track. So for the Spanish track, the professors are Mr. 
Francisco Garcia. Oh, uh, that's an old picture. Now he's a doctor. So we have to refresh that, update that in the in the spring screen, Francisco, that we have in the academia. So it's Dr. Francisco Garcia. Also, Carlos Guevara from Hostos Community College. Francisco is from Universidad eh, Texas Rio Grande Valley. Eh, we also have Dr. Graf Wilfredo Nieves. He's the Meritus uh, President of Capital eh, Community also, eh, College. And we also have Dr. Giselle Tapia from Ana Jiménez University, eh, Dr. Ana Milena Locumi from la Universidad de Puerto Rico, also Dr. Alice Casanova from Alviso University, and we also have Javier Zavala from Universidad de Puerto Rico that is here with us, and, eh, and our head board of director chairman, Dr. Carlos Morales, he is the president of the TTC Connect Campus at Tarrant County eh, College District. In the English track, we have uh, the same faculty that are fully bilingual, but in uh, Dr. Lisbel Correa from Inter-American University, uh, Ponce Campus, is the one who offered the topic that Dr. Ana Milena Nukumi offered in Spanish. This is the only difference from the English track and the Spanish track. So you can benefit from the expertise of all of these different faculty uh, from the uh, head Academy. The itinerary o el itinerario propuesto para esta sección que empieza en marzo 12 y corre hasta el 15, eh, les aclaro que son cuatro días de sesiones sincrónicas y eh, para la sesión en español hemos determinado el horario de 10 de la mañana a 1 de la tarde, son tres horas para cada tema. Tienen un receso de una hora y media y de dos y media a cinco y media sería la otra parte. El primer día tendrían, el primer tema sería, empezaríamos con tecnología académica y eh, esta es la versión en español y aprendizaje en línea. Y para la versión de English version of the first day of the Heads Academy, with be, the topics will be online learning and academic technology. And the, the time proposed is from 10.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Eastern time. And you have one hour and a half of a break. And then we restart or we start again the second topic from 3 to 6 p.m. Eastern time. This uh, uh, itinerary is proposed in order to uh, can, uh Vela, eh, so that the people that is in the Pacific coast doesn't have to be so early in the morning because remember that is the time zones have some differences and we want to be fair with everyone. So uh, we hope that this uh, proposed itinerary can be a uh, fine for everyone that will be uh, participating of, from this edition. The second day we will have the enseñanza y aprendizaje in the Spanish track and diseño instructional y curricular and the same in English. The third day we're going to continue with desarrollo profesional and datos para el aprendizaje digital, the same in English. And the fourth day and last one, we're going to finish the academia with the uh, topic administración y calidad y gerencia de proyectos. Any questions? Remember that at the end you will have the opportunity to ask. What are the, ¿Cuáles son los requisitos para completar la academia? Pues primero, cuando entran, se les da el acceso, tienen que completar la prueba, la prueba al iniciar la academia. Luego tienen que acceder a todas las sesiones sincrónicas y tener disponible su audio y su cámara para ¿verdad? poder participar activamente, como dice el paso 3, a través de comentarios, preguntas y hacer los ejercicios que se dan durante las sesiones, y número cuatro y último, completar la prueba y la evaluación al concluir la academia. Estos son los requisitos para poder completar y obtener el Digital Bash y el certificado de 24 horas contacto, que son parte, ¿verdad?, de eh, lo que incluye el costo de la academia. The fees uh, for our member institution is by $199. Then non-members fees, uh, we have a, a package of 
649s, and that includes uh, a member, an individual membership that is value of $100. But if you are not interested in this uh, deal or, or package, then you can pay the regular uh, fee that is $799. Again, all these uh, fees, uh, all the, these fees include all the materials, the access to all the models, or, or everything that we have in the platform, the access to the synchronous, and the 24 hours uh, contact hours, the continuing education certificate, and a digital badge that you will receive at the end. Finally, uh, as I mentioned, we want to uh, he hear what our graduates say said, say, sorry, about the, their experience in the academia. And today we have the honor to have Dr. Olga Rivera. She's the president and CEO of ICPR Junior College. And she was one of the participants in, in the last edition in June, 2023. Also, she's the vice, the vice uh, president of the Heads Board of Directors. So we are so happy to have her here. And we also have Dr. Christina Harp from New Jersey City University. She's also one of our board members and we are happy to have them here. Let me start, stop sharing this and let me start eh, con, eh, vamos a empezar en español para ¿verdad? seguir <laughs> bilingual. Eh, en primer lugar, nos gustaría preguntarle a la doctora Olga Rivera qué le motivó a participar de la Academia de Head y qué fue lo más que disfrutó de esta experiencia. Pues buenas tardes a todos. Para mí es un verdadero placer poder compartir con ustedes mi experiencia. A mí me motivó a, a matricularme en la academia, bueno, número uno, la facultad que, que tenía, ¿verdad?, que tiene los temas. Eh, luego de la pandemia, pues muchas de nuestras instituciones, nosotros en ICPR Junior College, habíamos desarrollado cursos en línea, pero no teníamos programas en línea ni nada. La pandemia nos llevó a desarrollar pro, programas en línea y como parte de nuestro proyecto, yo, yo me matriculé con la decana asociada de asuntos académicos, eh, decidimos entrar porque queríamos hacer el proyecto de desarrollar la división en línea como tal, ya superamos los programas en línea, pues ahora queríamos establecer la división en línea, algo que ahora mismo nosotros seguimos desarrollando, eh, la academia nos dio las herramientas para poder enfocarnos en, en, en la, los asuntos realmente medulares que nos pudieran ayudar en este proceso de una manera más ágil y con el favor de Dios, este año nosotros pensamos lanzar nuestra división completamente en línea, así que es algo que, que le agradezco. ¿Qué, ¿Qué fue lo más que disfrute? Pues el compartir con los compañeros, no solamente es la facultad de la cual tú aprendes, tú aprendes de todos los participantes porque traen diferentes experiencias y eso enriquece la clase y por lo tanto, pues realmente fue un aprendizaje extraordinario para nosotros y yo lo recomiendo, estoy feliz aquí de, de estar recomendándolo porque no en todos los sitios uno puede tener una educación como esta, un tema tan importante para nosotros en la academia y en las instituciones educativas y específicamente ahora con, con cómo cambió en nuestro mundo y nuestro ambiente luego de la pandemia que nos ha movido a lo que es este mundo digital de una manera más agresiva y realmente tenemos que estar preparados para poder seguir a, dándole a nuestros estudiantes las herramientas para que ellos puedan aprender de, en la modalidad que realmente a ellos, ellos necesiten. Excelente, muchas gracias eh, Olga por compartir tu experiencia. También, eh, we would like to hear from Christina, eh, from your perspective as administrators and faculty member also, how do you consider the Head Academy can benefit both your faculty and administrative staff at your institution? And what do you like the most about the Academy as well? Thank you, Yuvalkas. So um, I have to say that the Head Academy was such a great opportunity for me to take advantage of, you know, professional development. Um, I think working in higher education, we all kind of want to continue our education on our own, you know, personal level. So this was a great experience. Um, at New Jersey University, you know, I'm working as a project assistant on a Title V grant, and I'm also an adjunct um, biology instructor. So, you know, my current role really is working to promote and facilitate, right, adoption of teaching and learning technologies. So, you know, this was a great way for me to talk with others 
um, especially the faculty, the HETS faculty, um, you know, they did such a great job um, sharing their expertise and experience with us. Um, you know, we were able to discuss uh, the different challenges we experience and, you know, different opportunities that are available, you know, on and off campuses and at other institutions, maybe things that we hadn't really realized or thought that we could take advantage of, um, you know, and we were able to really work together as a team, build on different, um, you know, reflect, you know, and build on different, um, you know, things that I think that are in the back of our minds, but, you know, kind of bringing it to the forefront and then talking about these things out in, in the open with, you know, fellow professionals, you know, in the field, that's very important, uh, you know, and I think the one thing that leaving the Hetz Academy, um, you know, I really wanted to share this opportunity with others and, and say, like, you know, if this is what you're doing at your institution, uh, you know, have others take advantage of this, you know, coming away from the Hetz Academy, I feel that, you know, I was able to have a community, you know, leaving with a community um, of, of peers, you know, like-minded individuals who are, you know, working towards the same goals. You know, we work in higher education and our goal pretty much is student success and retention and, and making sure that we are finding different ways, you know, to help make sure that their experiences in education are, um, you know, valuable and, and worthwhile. So. Excellent. Thank, Thank you so you. much. And now I would like to ask Stephanie from our staff to open a, a to allow our participants to open their mic and their camera a, and their video so they can ask questions. If you have any, please feel free to unmute. Also, I would like to ask uh, any of the faculty members that I from the academia that I see here, we have Xavier Zavala, Francisco, Garcia. Let me see who else we have here in the uh, as part of the academia, uh, the faculty. Javier, if you want to also open your mic, Francisco, Javier. Let me see if we have. Uh, no, so far, those are the ones that I see, Bella. I don't see any other. That also, they are here. You can ask questions either to them or to us or to the graduates of the academia. So feel free. This is the time to clarify any doubts. If you cannot open your mic, Bella, eh, unmute yourself, please eh, feel free to use the chat to eh, also ask questions and I can read the questions and and clarify the questions, Bella, any doubts for you. In the meantime, uh, that uh, think about a question, I would also like uh, again, Olga uh, and um, Christina to share finally, uh, 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 how do you recommend others to benefit from the academia, Bella, from this experience? Uh, uh, why will why do you think this will be a nice experience for them to take advantage of? Pues yo la recomiendo full, por eso estoy aquí hoy. Gracias. Eh, la recomiendo full porque añadiendo lo que había dicho eh, Cristina, en términos de desarrollo profesional para nosotros realmente es como una certificación, yo lo veo como una certificación adicional, ¿verdad?, en, en tus estudios, y te abre una perspectiva para tú poder trabajar en estos proyectos que ahora mismo se tornan prioritarios en cada una de las instituciones, no importa en el rol que tú estés, yo estoy en, en el rol administrativo, Cristina está en el, en el rol de facultad, pero todos tenemos una injerencia bien grande en lo que es eh, la educación en línea hacia el futuro, porque siempre va a permanecer lo presencial, pero, pero la educación en línea es algo que ya vino para quedarse y por lo tanto, mientras más temprano ¿verdad? nosotros podamos tener esa experiencia y lo bueno de aquí es que tienes experiencia no solamente de la facultad, sino de los profesionales que se matriculan, que tienen que pasar ¿verdad? por un proceso de aceptación. Por lo tanto, no estás con personas de las que tú también vas a aprender y eso es lo que va a hacer que el aprendizaje sea todavía eh, exquisito. Así que esos cuatro días, y se van a las millas, sí. eh, esos cuatro días vale la pena uno reservarlos y dedicarlos porque no es un tiempo perdido. Uno gana 
aunque no esté ni siquiera trabajando un proyecto de educación en línea, pues vas a ser el que va a estar preparado en tu institución para mover un proyecto tan importante como ese. Muchas gracias, Olga. Sí, son cuatro días intensos, very intense day, and Isari también in the office we managed because last, let me tell you that last time we did uh, synchronous, not only the sessions, but also the tracks. So we, in the meantime, we have the Spanish track uh, at, 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 uh, in one computer. We have the English track in another computer, both groups uh, at the same time, Bella, which each professor and each topic uh, separate, but at the same time. So it was very intensive, but it was very, very, uh, uh, very productive four days. Uh, Cristina, let me see if someone have a question. No worries. I don't see any questions right now, but uh, last words, because we don't want to take too much time. It's almost uh, to Teddy. No, to of close course. The session. So, yes. Um, so, I mean, I think um, pretty much just walking away with that community of people that I know I can go back to, to just send an email, talk to them. You know, we, we share a lot of the same experiences working, you know, at HSIs, you know, MSIs, um, you know, working majority have grants and, and different initiatives, you know, um, I think it's important to just really be able to take an advantage of an opportunity, just like HETS Academy and, you know, hear from others, learn from others' experiences, what works for them, what hasn't, you know, what, what can you try at your institution that may work um, as well. So, you know, just kind of that feedback and that, you know, just community um, is really something to walk away with from HETS, uh, from the HETS Academy. And I definitely encourage anybody who's thinking about it to submit your application. Um, and I know it's difficult with the schedule, you know what I mean? It is a very rigorous schedule, but it was really worth the time and, and you know, taking out that time in my week to to really um, be focused and present and the opportunity. So thank you. <laughs> no, thank, thank you. And finally, uh, any other question, uh, any questions that you may have? This is the perfect timing. I don't see any questions from the from the the floor i think everybody understood the information remember that if you need have any problem with the uh, online process of the application you still have a week that's why we did this info session a week prior so you have enough time uh, to uh, uh, have a Bella, complete the application remember for the for to come in order to complete the application you need some uh, letters or evidence that you are processing the letters uh, of your supervisor or your president of your institution or, or your chancellor, depending. And and, and then uh, think about an idea of a project. It doesn't have to have too, mo too much details, but uh, at least uh, an idea of w where do you want to implement of the knowledge that mm -hmm. you will have uh, from the uh, academy in your institution because at the end what we need what we want to do is to eh, that the knowledge can be there alguien tiene el alguien quiere hacer una pregunta que veo que están eh, se escucha el sonido no sé si any questions no well I think I think we are done let me thank Uh, first of all, our two uh, participants today, Olga, gracias por tu tiempo. I know you are in the in the middle of something and you took the time to step out and connect and share your experience with the Heads Academy. We truly appreciate it. So, gracias. And also, Cristina, thank you also for being with us. And also, I would like to thank uh, the faculty members from the Academia who Uh, connected today, Francisco and Javier, and also to thank our head staff who helped me uh, uh, during this info session. Stephanie, uh, she's remote, and also Isaris uh, Gutierrez, she's uh, on the office right now. So thank you so much for uh, to everyone. Please let us know if you have any other question. Any other question? Hola, Javier, ¿cómo estás? Saludos, ahí veo si quieres decir unas últimas palabras como miembro de la facultad en inglés o en español, como lo prefiera. No. Uh, well, uh, I think that 
this is a great opportunity, you know, to to gather with some colleagues and share a lot of information about the future in higher education that for me is everything that we are working online. En español, pues nada, este, saludos a todos, de verdad, esta experiencia de, de compartir con colegas de diferentes lugares, con diferentes experiencias, crea un ambiente de aprendizaje espectacular. Así que, de verdad, siempre ha sido un honor poder colaborar y participar de, de estos procesos y estoy a su orden siempre para poder este, ayudar y colaborar en cualquier proyecto que sea necesario en el futuro. Excelente. No sé si Francisco quiere comentar algo. Nito Francisco está malito de la garganta, me ah, dijo, sí, okay. pero tú, tú, mira a ver si te sale la voz. Sí, un poquito, un poquito. No, pues, como, como lo comentaba el profesor Javier, eh, esta, esta academia no solo es lo que la facultad la, la pone en contacto con ustedes, sino los mismos compañeros que también tienen mucha experiencia en el área, uh, comparten sus, sus experiencias y, y, y eso hace como crear una, una comunidad, ¿verdad? En una semana donde se aprende demasiado, como, como decían, es una agenda muy, muy intensa, pero vale la pena. As like they were saying, uh, um, it, this is a, a, a really rough schedule. I mean, it's, it, you have to invest time on it. It's a lot that you're learning in, in one week, but it's really worth it. I mean, it, it, you, you will learn not only from us, the faculty, but the, you will see the experience that the, um, that the classmates will, will share with you. Um, I mean, it creates a, a kind of like a learning community through all this week. So very interesting, and, and of course, willing to uh, work in, uh, with you in, in this process. Thank you very much. Gracias. Gracias, Francisco. Esperemos que te mejore de tu garganta. Gracias nuevamente a todos. Recuerden que aunque son cuatro días intensos, a very intense days, but it, the, the only requirement that you need is to be present, to participate, because you don't need to do any assignment, any additional of the three hours per topic that you will be investing in the synchronous session. So you only need to reserve all these four days and take advantage of all the expertise that will be shared uh, from not only the faculty, but also your uh, the participants who will be there. So we are delighted to offer this new edition in March, again, March 12 to 15 is a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and you already have the itinerary. If you have any doubts, we're gonna uh, publish this uh, recording and the presentation in in the Heads Academy info session area. So you can go back and refer. And if you have any uh, any any questions additional of the application process, please let us know. We are happy to help you on that. Thank you again. Good afternoon, the ones in the Pacific. Good morning. I don't know if it's still morning there. I guess it is. So thank you again for your time. Gracias, Olga. Gracias, Cristina, Francisco, uh, Javier, and also the head staff. Que tengan excelente tarde y esperamos poderlos saludar en la academia el mes próximo. Que tengan linda tarde a todos. Déjenme parar la, la grabación.